Okay, I'm going to read uh, tonight from uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 2 and 3. And it says, For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of Yahuwah, or the day of the Lord, so comes as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they shall not escape. They shall not escape, but we shall escape. We who are born again believers in the Messiah, we shall escape the destruction that's going to come upon the earth. The Messiah <clears throat> said that as in the days of Noah and Lot, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. He emphasized the fact that they were eating, drinking, giving in marriage. He's describing an ordinary day, not a time frame like at, at the end of the tribulation after the earth has gone through 21 judgments upon the earth, after over half the population of the world has perished, which would be approximately 4 billion people. That's not, a, this is not, that's not an ordinary time frame. He could not be speaking about the end, uh, about his coming at the end of the tribulation in, in that particular passage. He's talking about the rapture of the church, which will initiate this destruction that shall come upon the earth. And so he tells us that uh, it will come as a thief in the night. In other words, when people least expect it. In fact, he himself said that. He said, he said that, that he would come in the hour that you even think not. So that's why I'm sharing with you that I think that we're, we are living in a high rapture uh, alert time frame, being that, that, that uh, things are going about as they are, and uh, there's not a nuclear war going on somewhere or some kind of uh, uh, traumatic thing happening right now in Israel. Um, we know that there's wars and rumors of wars, but the, all these are the beginning of sorrows. And the Messiah, Yahushua said, look up when you see these things begin, 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 begin to come to pass. <laughs> he didn't say after they come to pass. And he said, when you see these things begin to come to pass, look up for your redemption is drawing near. And so you and I should be living in the uh, expectation that the rapture could happen any moment. It is a signless event. In other words, there's no specific sign that we'll know that it's right before us. It's going to happen as a thief in the night. It's going to catch a lot of people off guard. They're not, they're going to be, it's going to be as a snare upon a lot of people. But for those that are paying attention, those that know what the scripture has to say, know the time frame. See, we don't know the day or the hour. And that's the problem with a lot of people. A lot of people about that study the, these end times, uh, they are predicting dates or they're setting time frames. Um, I know the time frame is near. I know it could happen any moment, but I don't know the day or, or the hour. But I do know that it's right upon us. And that's why, that's, the, that's what the intention of the Messiah uh, wanted us to live in the, the atmosphere of expectancy, knowing that it could happen any moment. And that's one of the reasons why I think that it's, it's been made a secret because we, he wants us to be expecting his return any day, any time that we will go about doing the Father's business, alerting others of their need for salvation before the day of Yahuwah comes upon this earth. People will be saved during this time frame, but as I've mentioned many times, it's going to be a very difficult time for a lot of people. So there's no... there's uh, the, today is the day of salvation. If you haven't been born again of the Ruach HaKadosh, the set-apart spirit, call upon Yahuwah. The scripture says, all those who call upon the name of Yahuwah shall be saved. That's what it says in Joel, Joel chapter 2, verse 31 and 32. You'll find that the apostle Peter quoted Joel in Acts chapter 2 and say it said that all who call upon the name of Yahuwah shall be saved. I know your, your scripture says those in your English translations, it says those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But the actual correct rendering, if you look it up in, the, uh, in Joel chapter 2, and you look it up in a, a Greek Hebrew interlinear Bible, or any kind of Bible software, you'll see that the word Lord there is the name of the Creator, Yahuwah. And so it says, whoever calls upon the name of Yahuwah 
shall be saved. The person you know as Jesus is Yahuwah. The person you know as Yeshua is Yahuwah. His name correctly uh, translated or transliterated is spoken as Yahusha because his name in Hebrew means Yahuwah is Savior or Salvation. And Yahuwah himself declared in many times in the Old Testament or the Tanakh, he said, I am Yahuwah, your Savior, your only Savior. <laughs> May these words comfort you tonight. And uh, until next time, shalom.